Go from there, from there, mm -hmm. from there, mm -hmm. around the masking tape. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. The outer circles, the two outer circles are going to be white. Right. So this, it's just the inner circle. And this is the tricky part that it's kind of random. So, you know, you do what you feel. Working for David is very interesting because the jobs uh, often change throughout the day. Unexpectedly, we have no, no idea what we're, we're necessarily doing day to day. Do you need some more left ears, David? I noticed that there's like a lot more right ears than there are left ears for yeah, some reason. Yeah, I need some more. Okay. When David comes to us with a task, he explains the task to a point and if, if it needs to go further, he'll explain it, but he really uses us uh, more like a material where he knows us quite well. He knows uh, certain assistants will react a certain way to a job and to the point where like, some people will do it messier than someone else and he intrinsically knows that. Because even when I would come in here and back in these holes, I'm still gonna get that gap no matter what. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever study biology? Uh, no, not. Well, Art was like your main focus? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and anything that I did um, come to learn was kind of like, you know, through my own understanding of it. So whether or yeah, not yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. factually correct. Yeah, yeah, I'm the <laughs> same. I mean, like, I'm sort of like fascinated with science, but it's a very childlike fascination. Oh, yeah. It's not uh, Exactly. Yeah. And I think that's one of the reasons why I became so interested in, in working like with taxidermy and stuff, because you know, like the idea of, of playing with dead animals, you know, that's something that like a, a kid, a small kid would do, you know? Yeah. Well, live animals. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Those two, I guess. <laughs> I went to uh, both undergrad and grad as, as a sculptor. I started really getting into like a lot of animal science and taxidermy, so I was always in tune with the way that David works and the things that he's interested in. And then when I came uh, to work here in the studio, I felt that even stronger. His work inspires his work. In the four years that I've been here, I see him make one thing that inspires the next thing that he makes, which inspires the next thing, and it really just comes from this like void within him, which is, I think, like really beautiful. You know, believing in actually what you're doing, you know, for who you are working with, you know, kind of being on the same, um, on the same train, I guess, or whatever, um, I think really helps a lot, and I think it really helps out my own practice as an artist, too. Thank you.